Welcome back, Spear Elementary. Happy Monday morning. Today's date is March 9th, 2020. My name is Danica, and I am your Channel 5 Morning News Anchor. Good morning. I'm Kylie, and I'll be your co anchor for today. Welcome to our new show. Let's take a moment to stand in honor our wonderful country. Please say the pledge led by my co anchors, Roxy and Skylar. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Thank you, Roxy and Skylar. Shall we check with our chef to see what's cooking in the kitchen today? Sure, Chef Landon, what's on the menu for today? On the menu for today is chicken fries and waffles, PB&J, bento to go, and salad cob. That's all that's cooking in the kitchen today. Back to the desk. And now for today's announcements. Book fair is open. Hey Kylie, you want to hear something about my book? Sure, what is it about? Pig the Star. Pig loves attention. In fact, he's a great big show off. But when another star appears at the photo shoot, Pig doesn't like it. No Pig doesn't like it at all. Well, that's cool. My book called Camp is about Olive is sure she'll have the best time at summer camp with her friend Willow. How could she not enjoy two weeks of cabins, crafts, and campfires? But while, while Olive makes quick friends with the other campers, Willow struggles to form connections and latches onto the only person she knows, Olive. It's more than <laughs> Olive can handle. The stress of being, of being Willow's secu living security blanket begins to wear on Olive. And before long, the girls aren't just fighting. They may not be even friends by the time camp is over. Will the two be able to patch things up before the final lights out? And now for a special announcement from Mr. Devaney and Mr. Robinson. Good morning. Happy Monday. Happy Welcome back. Happy Monday, gang. Welcome back. Woo. Welcome back. All right. You got four more days before the nine weeks end to work on meeting your goals. That's right. You set it. Hard. Crush it. That's right. Four more days. What goal did you set when we came back in January? Remember how long it seemed like it was going to take forever? You had all this time. Now you're in your last four days. So if you have mm -hmm. not met your goal for this nine weeks, work hard these next four days and meet your goal. Exactly. We now will have our, a big push. I'm sorry. I'm yeah, sorry. we will have our award ceremony at the end of this nine weeks, right when we come back um, and recognize all students who are meeting their goals. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Well, I can tell you what, I, I am met a little goal. Look like you met a little I goal. I met some goals this week, and this I got weekend, three goals. This weekend, I got yes. three, too. Yes. Woo! Yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I thank you, crowd. Thank you. I know you're all clapping. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Remember you. when we told you that we signed up to do that race this weekend, we did two miles. Mm -hmm. And then after the two miles, we did another 6.2 miles. So yes. 8.2 miles total. Yes. Yes. And we, we got it done. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you know, spoon. We didn't know if we could make it when we first started, but we trained up. We worked hard. You know, we kept the goal in mind. We pushed each other. And sure enough, when it was time to do it, we were able to complete the goal. Yes, and uh -huh. I, I was sick in there, and, and, yes. and we got really busy with work. We had so yes. much work to do, uh. and so we didn't train as well as even we probably could have. Exactly. But we kept trying, and we made it through. We actually set another goal already for the next race. So. Yep. You can set new goals the minute you meet your goal, set a new one. There you go. There you go. All right. Speaking of setting goals, no referrals this week. That's our goal. Zero referrals. You know the rules. You've I been like here it. three, nine weeks. You know how to be kind, be safe, be respectful and responsible. Zero referrals. That's our goal for this week. Exactly. Let's see if you can meet it. Mm -hmm. All right. In the cafeteria, make sure you're staying seated unless you are in danger. If you are not in danger, you can just raise your hand. Miss Eleanor or Miss A will come over and help you if you've waited a really long time. Just get up and go get them. But make sure you're staying seated unless you are in danger. That's right. Make sure that even though no one is watching, you're being respectful and responsible in the cafeteria and doing the right thing. We are not daring. 
daring people to do stuff. We're not having conversations that are not rated G. And a level two voice. That's right. Make sure they're rated G for everyone. Anyone could listen to your message or your words and not be offended. Exactly. Make sure that you are being responsible mm -hmm. um, in the cafeteria, even though there's no adult standing right next to you. Otherwise, we'll assign you to eat lunch with an adult. Yeah. Yeah. But our goal for this week is... Zero no referrals. referrals. That's right. There you make go. sure you eat all of your food on your tray. I'm sorry. Make sure you eat the food on your tray. You don't have to eat all of it. Yeah. But eat it or leave it. No squishing, no mixing, no pouring, no 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 sliding, no crushing. Eat None it. None of that. Or leave, or leave it. it. No right? Sharing. No sharing. No sharing because there are allergies, you. right? No sharing. That's right. Make sure you pick up all your trash at the end. And if you need to go to the bathroom, raise your fingers, hold it up, and someone will send you as soon as there's an available bathroom to go to. Exactly. All right. Remember, as always, you are our first uh, eyes. If you're walking around campus and you see someone behind the gate trying to get in or behind a door trying to get in, don't open any doors or gates. Anyone who can get in should have a key. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you let an adult know if you see anyone that you're not sure of on campus. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter if you make a mistake. If you see somebody that you don't think is where they you need to be, you don't recognize them, they tell don't need the to closest be here. adult. There you go. And we will take care of the rest from there. Mm -hmm. All right, four mm -hmm. more days. You can do it. Four more days, gang. Crush now those is the goals. time to push for the goal. Crush the goal. Yes. All right. Yes, ma'am. Words of wisdom? Talk to me. All right. Hmm. Many of us dream about having nice things like the newest toys or video games or maybe clothes. Mm -hmm. We want to live in a bigger house or take fun vacations. Hmm. There are many things Americans want. For some, it's the American dream. Mm -hmm. Now, listen to this old Hebrew pro proverb Wisdom is better than rubies. And all things that may be desired are not to be compared with it. Having all the things in the world are not worth as much as having wisdom. Wisdom is being able to tell right from wrong, mm -hmm. good from bad. Mm -hmm. This old proverb is telling us that all the things we wish for, the most important thing is wisdom. Mm -hmm. Wisdom is better than rubies or diamonds or fancy cars. So next time you're thinking about all the things you want to have, mm -hmm. add wisdom to your list so you can mm -hmm. learn to make wise choices and become the very best person you can be. Mm -hmm. well, something to think about this, Mr. Vaney. It's Mr. Robinson. Make it a great Monday, not or not. That's right, or, or not. not. The choice is, is yours. yours. Here comes Miss G with some SSYRA Gold Crushers. Woo -woo! Good morning. We have Eliza Soto for Engineers. Congratulations, Eliza. You are welcome to come to the uh, Media Center even during the book fair to come collect your brag tags. Boys and girls, after our show, we're going to put up our Flipgrid from last week. I know that I sent that out late, and we did not get a lot of Flipgrid responses this time, so we're going to extend it one more day. I'm going to make an announcement tomorrow. So anybody that participates in our Flipgrid, the question is, do you agree with Peter's feeling to have the children help Mr. Tumnus or not. So you really want to think about that. Go ahead and respond. Have your student voice. Respond to the video. And anybody that participates is going to get their name selected into a hat. And we are going to be pulling a winner for someone to spend some scholastic dollars. Also, teachers, if you have finished the um, Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, please email me because I would like to get your class and you a little something for participating in our one book, one school. So I know Miss Fredrickson's class, all three of her reading classes have finished the book and they are really excited. So keep on reading. If you are finished, make sure you email me so that we can give you a thank you gift uh, for participating in our one book, one school. I believe that is all of my announcements. Um, we are, actually one more, we are open all this week to for book fair. We will close early on Thursday. So teachers, please do not wait till last minute on Thursday to send students down. We will close about noon like we do all the time so that we can have time to pack up our book fair as it's being picked up very early Friday morning. So please, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're open before and after school to families all day for students. And then Thursday, we're open before school and a little bit during the day. So just wanted to give you an update on our book fair. We had a great uh, book fair night. So thank you to all of those families. And thank you, students, for bringing your families into the book fair during our storybook festival. It really helped our sales. So thank you so much for purchasing items from our book fair because you know everything that you purchase from our book fair helps our media center. Okay, that's all my announcements. Let's head back to the desk.
Thank you, Ms. Devaney, Mr. Robinson, and Mrs. G. Remember to be kind to one another. Have a marvelous Monday. Remember, spirit believes together we can be the difference. See you tomorrow. Bye.